Hi, I'm Bob with Mets and Machines, and today we have another video for you with the APA 365 TRE. Uh, we're in the yard and we are going to make some firewood. Actually, we set aside two nice cherry logs. Um, the guy behind the camera is actually going to be using these for a pizza oven. So we're going to put these into the processor. We are using the eight-way splitting knife on these, and we're cutting them to 14-inch lengths. And you can smell them right now, just standing here. Uh, I love cherry. So we're going to run these things through the processor real quick. We are trying one other thing on this processor now. It has been hard for us to get metal saw bars. Um, we can get the Oregon aluminum core saw bars, and uh, I finally got some sample bars from Archer, which is a uh, manufacturer of saw bars for all kinds of different stuff, but they sent us um, our first sample order of the 15 inch bars. They're metal with replaceable noses, and we've got them at a couple of test sites right now, and we're testing the one here as well before we offer it to you, our customers. So. We're gonna run this machine, we're gonna make some clean firewood, and it's going up the disc cleaner, and then out the disc cleaner coming into this crate. And we're lucky we had just enough room to get this crate in here, so all of the cherry wood should be going into this crate. <clears throat> I don't think any of it's gonna go past, but this morning we did make some uh, ash already to clean off the rack, and uh, we got those cherry logs on there, so now we're ready to go. And we'll show you what this can do with the cherry logs and the eight-way.
Well guys, I got a workout on this video, uh, as you can see. And you know, as a, as a distributor, a, a dealer, a seller of this type of equipment, we could choose to not show that type of stuff, but I think it's important to show everything has a limitation. So this machine, the 365, we usually recommend if you're gonna get an eight way that you're doing really straight grain stuff and or small diameter uh, softwood type thing. So today I knew I was gonna be pushing the limits of the machine using the eight way on the cherry. Um, getting the one log stuck the one time into the knife, instead of constantly trying to put the splitter into it again, I just went in and got this, the sledgehammer and you could see I hit straight down on it. Um, usually if you get into the splitting knife once and it doesn't want to go, you can hit that one time with, with the, uh, the, um, the ball, sorry, and uh, then you can flip it around and split it the other way. But I wanted to show you guys what it looked like as it was part way through the knife. The thing was almost split all the way through but it just didn't have enough momentum to go through all of those eight blades at the same time. So uh, one of the other things is I did have some user error in there. While I was splitting, while I was cutting and splitting, I saw that there was a smaller piece, I don't know, maybe like this, sitting up kind of diagonal on the knife. And while I was dropping the next log, I thought, well, that won't be a big deal. It'll push through. Well, what happened is it deflected off of this and then pushed up into the side of the machine. So instead of it, it just didn't not have enough power to split. It was trying to push against the machine frame itself. So that's why you saw me stop with um, the sledgehammer again, the mall, and beat it out so that we could uh, get things cleaned up. So this, the second log was a little bit more of a challenge, uh, but like I said, it's good to show, you know, everything's got a limitation and to show you what you can and can't expect. Uh, I would say that this stuff was probably 12, 12 inch, 13 inch diameter and going through the eight way. These are still actually, I think bigger pieces than, uh, than Ryan wanted, but um, he'll, he'll probably have to utilize a kindling cracker to make this stuff smaller. But anyway, this stuff did turn out nice for if you did want to use it like an offset smoker, and we could probably turn some of this into chunks by cutting it smaller with our bandsaw, which is what we do for our chunks. But I really wanted to show you guys, again, like I said, uh, we could have cut all that out, but we left it in. A lot of people ask, you know, what happens when the machine gets jammed? What do you do? Well, this video will hopefully help you see how to unjam it. And one of the other cool parts is, I'm not sure how long the footage was. How long was the footage? It was like 10 minutes long. Okay, so we took this crate, and if this was just normal wood, we'd be selling this crate for 30 bucks, and we did that in 10 minutes. Now, this being cherry, if I was gonna sell this at the roadside stand, I would want 50 bucks for this. So you gotta look at it that way too. Yes, there was a little bit more hassle involved, obviously, but still, 50 bucks for 10 minutes of work is not a bad gig. So, uh, one of the benefits of the Appa's uh, 315, 365, they both have the solid positive log stop. So um, you can see every time the log comes in, we're hitting here and I've got this set to about 14 inches right now. Um, we could comfortably go down to about 12 inches with this. And I actually did in a previous video, uh, we added a bunch of wood blocks to this to make it even closer to the saw so that we could cut chunks. Um, I think it was a 365 basic we did that with. but. Um, it's nice to have that because you know that every time you're cutting your log, you're getting to the same, the same length. Um, and you know, to some people it doesn't matter, but to customers with restaurants and, and smokers and things like that, they want the most uniform they can get. And when you get into our higher end processors, then they actually use a hydraulic log stop. So it's not positive like this, it's not solid, it, it's a paddle and that turns the infeed off. So again, you get the same length every time. And uh, I wanted to show you guys also the way that these splitting knives are designed. So there isn't any deflection. You have these side supports on the 365. Uh, the 315 does not have side supports, but the 365 and then anything above a 365 does have side supports. So you end up with a cassette style knife, which helps when you're, when you're splitting nastier stuff, especially because by, by nature, the, the knife wants to get you know, twisted and it can't do that with those side supports in place there. Now, the only downfall is that of course, you're gonna have a tunnel, if you will, that things have to go through. And as you saw, I got stuck up in here because I had that one piece sitting here. So the log bounced up and over and that, you know, I'm pushing the log directly against the frame. So that's why I hammered that one out and then kind of started fresh, cleaned the knife out. So that's another run of this Yapa 365 TRE. Hopefully the next video you see with this, uh, it will be running with the electric. So I can just walk out here and push a button and uh, get it rolling. That's gonna be really exciting and coming soon. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comments section. If you want pricing and availability, check out our website, www.metsamachines.com or give us a call at 888-848-4842.